Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome, luxury, big, mid-bunk travel trailer. This is a 2021 Primetime LaCrosse model 3370MB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the three things we love and the three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at a mid-bunk travel trailer. I've seen a lot of manufacturers try this, attempt it, but none of them have seen the master as well as Primetime did. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, like you said, a lot of times uh, mid bunk and travel trailer don't go, you know, don't go well together. So yep. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. The engineers at prime time, I really think, knocked this one out of the park. Cool. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 3370MB, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 37 feet, 7 inches. The dry weight is. 7,921 pounds in will. The tongue weight? 920 pounds. Perfect. You, remember, you always want to use weight distribution bars. Doesn't matter what you're towing it with. Right here, everything's going to be premium, luxury, and nice, including this nice power tongue jack right here. Two 20 pound propane tanks go here, and your batteries do go right here. Right here, we have a nice molded fiberglass front cap painted. I love the way Primetime does it. The lacrosse, it looks great. Right here, we do have a nice black diamond plate rock guard there. Now, this is a huge travel trailer. So what I really do love is it has its prep for the Furion side cameras. And we'll tell you a little bit more about Furion in a few seconds, but I love how it has the side cameras so you can get a nice 360 degree view while you're towing down. Right here, look at this, nice huge fiberglass slam latch door. Very nice. Right there, we do have a D-ring to leash up your pets at your campsite to make sure they don't go running into any other campsites. And then right here, we do have a huge power awning with LED lights. One thing I really love about prime time and the lacrosse, look how big the windows are. Yeah. Look at those windows, look at those windows, really big windows. Right here, we have lipper component solid steps right here. Extended season package, which means it's good for cold weather camping. And then look at this beer opener. Psh, America. America. You can have a beer while entering the travel trailer um what am i trying to say you can have a beer as you walk in your travel trailer i love that's that. right coming down the side here look at these tires will they're the trailer kings i love those they're the uh what size st225-75 r15 i love those rims i love those spread out axles there coming around the back we do have the electric stabilizing jacks i love that all you gotta do is push a button Right over here, we got a uh, nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. And then, Will, it's prepped for a Furion backup camera. And, Will, where can people get the Furion backup cameras or the side marker light cameras or any Furion cameras? It's down, on the, down off the link in our description below. Furion has partnered with Matt's RV Reviews to do two things. One, it helps support the show when you buy it from us on Furion's website. But two, they gave a special coupon code once you click our link and you actually get it cheaper than buying it from a third party website. So it's always better to buy directly through Furion and it's the best way to support the show. That's right. We appreciate everybody who gets a camera. We sure do. Especially the side camera stuff because that's, it's really cool to be able to see around all sides. Right here, we do have a water heater right there. Okay. Coming down the side, finishing up. Here's your 50 amp power cord right there. Here's where you dump your black and gray tank right there. Very nice and spot. And then everything else is gonna be enclosed. Right there, look at that. You got your cable, satellite, uh, outdoor shower, city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. Even a black tank flush right there. Very nice. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. <clears throat> After you, Moss, good sir. All right. Hey, well, wait. Psh, America. Hey, get on in there. 
All right, we'll start up front here. Got the bedroom up front here. The bathroom, which you can enter from the bedroom as well. Leave that door closed, Will. All right. And then check Kitchen out this living room. And the living room here. Now, if we started the RV in here, you guys would not believe us if I said that this was a bunkhouse travel trailer, okay? Right. Uh, so we're gonna start back here. One with this sofa right here. Wow, very comfortable tri-fold sofa. I like this. It's comfortable, and again, I cannot tell you guys enough about the big windows. You do have balances around all sides, and these privacy blinds right here. Then across from us is these individual recliner seats. Very interesting, very nice. Um, not super comfortable. Really? Um, no. And what if you reclined it? No, it, it's it's just kind of weird. Yeah. Um, because of the slide out system, I actually wish they didn't put this. It would have been better with an individual sofa. Right. Uh, but it's okay. Over here, we do have storage above. Okay. Very nice with the white cabinetry with the uh, what do you call these? Well, pistons. Um. Whatever I forget. Yeah. What they're called. Right there, we do have two struts. windows on both sides. The struts in a nice Summit TV right there. Nice Furion sound system there with a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. And we do have some storage there and no storage on the other side. And then over here is the, uh, is the kitchen area, kitchen table. Look at this. Plenty of room, huh? Plenty of room. Very nice, big and spacious, four chairs, higher end luxury travel trailer, super nice. And I can't say it enough. The windows is I absolutely know. amazing in here. They really are awesome. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... $53,003 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we can't advertise sale price. But Will, did you know we sell primetime in all 13 of our dealerships? I sure did. And did you know that we can get everybody in America the best price on this unit? That's right. Tell everybody how to do it. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, Click tab number one, that takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this RV, and you want to compare it to other RVs, not a problem. Click tab number two, that uh, sends me and Will an email, and we'll be able to get back to you within 24 hours. Or, if you just have a generalized fan question, not a problem. Click that third email, and we will still get back to you. But Will, it doesn't matter if they click tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that they all have in common? They're gonna get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys. So I love that they were able to get a kitchen island in here as well. Yes. With mid bunk. So that's awesome. We'll get to that in a minute. First, you got a nice big uh, compressor refrigerator here. I love it. Well, I like the lights. Yeah, very nice lights. Um, this is a just a regular microwave here, but nice, pretty good size. But well, it's a Furion microwave, and we love oh, Furion. That's right. Uh, got some storage right here. Yep. Nice three burner Furion cooktop here. I love these instead of the, um, you know, the, the regular ones with the oven and everything. Interesting backsplash as well. Oh yeah, I missed that, sorry. Um, and then storage down below here. Did you mention the solid surface countertops? Not yet, I was gonna do that on the island. Oh, so you're, you're telling me to stay in my lane and just hold yeah, the camera? pretty much. <laughs> okay, my bad. I'm sorry, Will. No, you're fine. Um, storage there as well. So yeah, like Matt said, very nice lights here. I do like that they put a fan there so that if, if you burn anything or whatever, you can help get rid of the smell. Prep for a fan. Oh, you're right. Yeah, stay in your lane. <laughs> 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 um, nice little spray faucet here uh -huh. and a good size single bowl sink with the cover and it does have solid surface counter really <laughs> nice um, got some drawers here and oh, open that open that um, okay I think what well, and what they're doing is the tire pressure monitoring systems cool. in all the prime time units now that's nice yep 
And a little more storage right there. Very nice. I even like that mirror there. Okay. And then, well, it's now time to show the mid bunk. Okay. Look at this, y'all. No slide outs, no problem. Very nice bunk house area. Look at this. Plenty of space for most kids. Yeah. You have a little window there. Uh, another bed above here. This is nice. It's and spacious it's and you a actually little bit have of room. Yeah. Like enough room for the kids to be in here, get changed, get dressed, whatever. And yeah, that's Pull those cool. drawers open. Okay. I mean, and they actually, for their yeah. clothes and stuff. Really not that bad. Again, I personally wouldn't get this floor plan if your kids are coming with you every time. Or if, if they're older. Right. But if you have small kids or if the kids come with you part time, uh, it works perfect. Yeah. And it's great for storage as well. It sure is. Great. It's now time for the tall test. Okay. Get on back there, Will. Let's see. It is a radius shower. Oh, we know we love those. And it's a tighter one. Okay. It will pass the tall test, though. So, but other yep. than that, there's not a lot of room. Bing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not a lot of room in the radius shower, so you yeah. guys know how it is. It's not big boy friendly. That's right. It's not big boy approved. Uh, we have nice little sink there, little storage there. That's not solid surface there. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Oh, porcelain. I thought it was plastic at first. No, 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 porcelain. They should have angled it. They should have angled it. Um, I don't know why they made it this way. It still gets a prime pooping position. Bing! But it was almost in jeopardy. Uh, they should have just angled it like... Just angled it. That's it? Just angled it? Just angled it. Let's check out that bedroom. Okay. I'll meet you over here. Two entrances to the master bedroom. Look at this. We have nice cabinetry over there. Oh. Two AC units. And well, look. It's a Furion AC unit. Very cool. <laughs> Storage up above. Very nice. And then I really like this bed setting. You have place for your cell phones and everything. And then let's check out the storage underneath the bed. Very nice. Cool. And as nice as it is, Will, and as great as it is, it's now time we, oh, oh we get everybody three things we love about this child trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. You want to go first or me? I have one, but I feel and, like... And you're going to steal it, yeah. but okay. I mean, just steal it. Okay. You thief. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like this rear setup. Um, I would have rather... Probably that they just put the entertainment center here. Oh, okay. Well, I don't I don't have a solution. No, actually, I would have rather they put it here, gave you a pantry... And then, and then honestly just make that storage back there yeah because they probably couldn't have done they probably couldn't have put seats there right. but it, but it would have been okay yeah you know i i, I don't know uh, i agree i i don't like this rear area well i don't like how both seats have to swivel their heads yeah to watch I the tv agree. that is one number two i'm gonna it's gonna kind of be related but I don't like how this is not flush. Right. Because now you have to move this completely off of that. You know right. what I'm saying? A lot of times, if it is flush, you don't need to pull it all the way out. Again, I wish they would have kind of reconfigured it or done something or just put another sofa there. Right. That's two. And then do you have a third? Not a good one. Well, tell me. Tell, tell me. It kind of goes with what I just said, but there's not a lot of uh, kitchen storage space. Again, I would have much rather that they put the TV there and a pantry. Just right more storage. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to combo that with the carpet on the slide outs. Okay. Uh, especially in a bunkhouse unit. Um, you know, kids, they're going to have tater tots with ketchup on it. And they're going to drop it or they're going to drop some baked beans on the carpet. And then it's going to be tough to clean. It's not kid friendly or Matt friendly. Yeah, not Matt friendly. Matt definitely drops some baked beans on that. <laughs> Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. I'm gonna go first, okay. and I've been saying it all video. The windows. Oh yeah. The windows, the windows, the windows. The windows look great. The windows are fantastic. They're big, they let light in. The jump box is dying, and we still have plenty of light in here. I absolutely love that. Yep. That is number one. Number two. Mine is this right here. The fact that you can get the mid bunk, and um, you know, this whole area is still pretty open. You have a nice big uh, kitchen island and solid surface countertops. And I love the Furion appliances. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Furion. Uh, so that's number two. And then number three, we have to go here. Oh, yeah. We have to say, we have to do it. A mid bunk. You know, 
we, we're we talking about, listen, we're talking about the rear entertainment center, how we, how we don't like it, how we rather re reconfigure it. But out of every single mid-bunk travel trailer oh, that yeah. we've seen, this is by far the best, hands down. And if I was looking for a mid-bunk, I would live with all the dislikes. Absolutely. Um, and this one just knocks it out of the park. Sure does. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell phone number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're looking for a unique travel trailer like this, in a few seconds we're gonna put what it competes against right here for you to watch. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Of course. All right, I, I really think that they knocked it out of the park with this one. I mean, they, they just did really good designing that mid bunk. So yep. I hope you guys liked it as well. Let us know the three things you like, the three things you dislike down in the comments below. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Will, we'll see you next time.